Welcome to your evening updates from the Met Office. It's been a pretty mild week, certainly in the south, but it is changing. It's going to turn quite a bit chillier over the next couple of days. And the reason for that, a cold front tied into a big area of low pressure just clearing away from Iceland. But for us, it's all about this weather front trickling its way southwards, introducing the colder air, as well as bringing some cloud and outbreaks of rain. If we rewind the clock, we can put the temperature profile on and see how that colder air has already pushed into the uh, far northwest of Scotland. And as the cold front sinks its way slowly southwards, it will be ushering away the milder air and that chillier feel will be spreading south, accompanied by strengthening winds getting very gusty through the night and during Friday across northern Scotland, accentuating that colder feel. OK, let's again come back to Thursday evening and see where that weather front is, because it's not just bringing the colder air, it is bringing cloud and rain to southern Scotland and Northern Ireland, but that's trickling southwards, so turning drier here and turning wetter across Northern England, Wales, and by morning time into parts of the Midlands and southwest England. Ahead of it, staying largely dry and, of course, still staying mild as well. That cold front introducing the colder air, but not especially cold in terms of the numbers, because that, that strengthening wind should help to stop too much frost. Still pretty cold though and feeling cold with that strong wind across northern Scotland. On to the details for Friday and a very different day then across uh, South Wales, the Midlands, South West England starts dull and damp and that rain will trickle into East Anglia and the South East. Could be some heavier bursts, but most of it will be fairly light and drizzly, but a very different day nonetheless. And it, it takes most of the day before it shimmies away, lingering in Kent in particular well into the afternoon. As it clears, though, look at that brighter skies. Most of us will see some spring sunshine, but there will also be some showers. Wales, northwest England, lots of showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland through the day. They'll be blowing in on that stiff wind, which will be very lively across northern Scotland in particular. And with the colder air, yes, there will be some snow on the tops of the hills mixed in with those showers. Hail and thunder is possible as well. Temperatures down on where they have been through this week. Actually, probably not too far off average, but feeling colder, particularly with that wind across Scotland and Northern Ireland. As we go through Friday afternoon, that rain should finally scoot away from Kent and then generally clearer skies over the Midlands and eastern England during Friday evening. Plenty more showers, though, packing into the west, particularly western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Still some further snow on the hills and those showers will be heavy and that's how we go into the weekend. More showers to come. Parts of the Midlands, eastern England, much of the south will have a, a dry and bright start to Saturday, but it won't last. The clouds will bubble up and then it's a showery day. Heavy showers moving in, uh, further thunderstorms possible. Don't be surprised if we don't see a little bit of hail in those showers also. They'll be moving through on a brisk wind, so a mixture of uh, sunshine one minute, it's fine. The next minute you've caught a downpour. Temperatures will be lower, certainly lower than they have been for most of this week. Single digits for many and again feeling colder with the wind, particularly in northern Scotland, but also for Northern Ireland and a chilly feel with that wind across Wales also. These are the temperatures for, for Friday when compared to average. So yes, it's turning colder on Friday, but temperatures not far off average. On Saturday, you'll notice even more of those blue shadings suggesting temperatures between 3 and 6 degrees below average. So perhaps feeling colder still on Saturday compared to Friday. Not especially cold for the time of year, but because it's been mild, you will notice that dip into the weekend. Sunday does look drier and brighter for most of us. For more details on that, you can check our full weekend forecast on YouTube.